afternoon. So I've had a, a request a couple of weeks ago for a video showing us how we do a crossed paws trick. So I'm going to do a very quick tutorial on how to start your dogs doing it. If your dogs can already do the first part, um, then maybe use this as a chance to have a little bit of a practice with your dogs. Um, so what you need ideally is um, a dog, your dog laying down so they can start learning how to cross their paws. You can either have your dogs on the floor and you're on the floor with them, which I'll be doing, or you can have your dogs maybe up on, if they're allowed, on the sofa, on the bed, or if you've got a raised surface, um, like a, a trampoline or a, a you know, platform of some sort, if you have them on there, then that can sometimes be a bit easier for us um, to reach the dogs without having to be on the floor ourselves. So what we're going to do to start with is you want your dogs in a down and facing you. So lay down, good boy. You need to decide which paw you want your dogs to give. So um, I'm going to get Merlin to give his right paw, so on my left side. Now normally if we ask for a paw, it's the hand on the same side as the dog's paw. So if I want a left paw normally, it would be a left hand and that's what I'd get. Okay. And then if I ask for a right paw, I use my right hand paw, and I'd get the other side okay with cross paws though we want the dogs to learn to do that action as opposed to that action so what i'm going to do is to use his left his right paw i'm going to use my right hand so i'm in, in essence crossing my leg oh god crossing my arm over i don't even know what part of the body i'm using so initially it can be a bit confusing and sometimes you'll get this paw the one that you don't need at the moment that's the one they'll offer because of the body language, okay? So we need to really help the dogs out. Sometimes I'll also just touch the top of the paw to make sure they understand which one I'm after. All right, so I'm them down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is literally just have the paw lifted on the side it's on. So paw, good. Treat that one. Paw, yes, good boy. When he's given that to me freely, paw, I can then start moving my hand towards the static leg and get Merlin to start moving that paw across. And gradually, they get something called muscle memory, where that becomes something that they automatically know how to do, as well as that, okay? So paw, yes, good boy. So it's really hard one to show without me being in the way. <laughs> down, good boy. Paw, good boy. Down, properly. Paw, good boy. So I don't know how much you can see there of my hand. Paw, no. This paw, yes, good boy. So in a few sessions, you go from it being here, down, properly, to there. And gradually, you just build up more and more and more. So they're going like that. Uh, good boy. Um, bear in mind that your dog needs to be able to reach the other paw. So my dogs have got very small legs, okay? Don't tell Merlin, he thinks he's jumping. Um, but if your dogs have got short legs, or even if they've got long legs, but they lay like this, that's gonna be really hard for them to reach to cross their paw, okay? So just have a look at how they lay down. Sometimes you can ask them to lay down and literally just you know, gently move their paws in. Sometimes you can then ask for paw and just lay it flat where you want it. Ideally, you want them like this, because then they've got the smallest amount of movement to make, rather than if they're here, they've got to really hoop to get across to where they're going, okay? So just think about it from your dog's perspective. We wanna make it as easy as possible so that they can get it right, okay? So I'll show you with Ripley. Now Ripley hasn't done much of this at all and Ripley's legs are even tinier than Merlin's, bless her. So um, pretty much working with a dog that hasn't really done it before. Just gonna creep forward. I've got a few things come up on the bottom of the phone. I just wanna check there's no questions on here. Hello Jackie and hello Wendy. So, Get you out the way, from chip chop. Down, good girl. Down, pull, yes. So, Ripley's feet are ridiculously wide. I don't know how well you can see that from there. Down, so that's quite wide for her the size of her leg. Pull, good girl. So, gradually, I'm going to move, yes, her paw in the way I want it. Down, this paw, good. So I'm, because I'm going closer to the static paw, I'm touching the one I want to move with the back of my hand down to help her get it right. Paw, yes, good girl. Paw, yes, good girl. And so gradually we're getting that nice crossing action. Good boy, and we turn, darling. Down, down, good girl. So again, her feet are really wide. So I'm just going to see if I can move that one closer. Down, 
Good girl. Paul? Yes, good girly. Good girl, aren't you, Dan? Paul? Yes. And once I'm getting this nice cross, I'm going to start changing the word to something I prefer. So I use cross paws. Cross paws? No. No. Dan? Cross paws. Yes, good girl. Good girl. So the reason why I got her to do that again was although she lifted her paw up, she didn't target my hand, she targeted my arm, so she basically went like that. <laughs> so she wasn't doing that anymore. So we're literally going in very small increments from lifting up and giving to your hand to slightly moving over, slightly more, slightly more, slightly more. Okay, and then you want to stay here for a little bit. Merlin, don't do that. <laughs> what is it with dogs and being gross? Um, if you try and go too soon, there's a chance they get demotivated and they won't understand and they won't have built up that muscle memory as well. Um, and so then they get confused and they don't want to do it or they offer you something different. Um, you can ask your dogs to do both directions, but I would maybe work on one direction at a time in a session just to help your dogs to get it right so you're not getting kind of all of this going on. Um, sometimes dogs will try and sit up while they do it. I mean, dogs can do that from sitting, but it's much, much harder when they're learning. So it can be best to get them back into a down again, but see how they go. They also might need very, very short sessions, especially if down isn't their favorite position in the world, okay? So you can make sure they're laying on something nice and soft. So keep it really, really short. Um, there are then more stages to go once they're able to do that straight away. So literally, if then you was to get your dog on a down and grab a treat, and literally just then down good boy cross paws <laughs> cross paws yes good boy they don't need the individual steps that is when they're ready to then progress and when they progress we need to get them off of our hand and targeting something else we need them to be able to do it more on cue without our hand signals and then gradually we build up to them actually being able to leave the paw there for a second or two longer and then build it up and build it up. Um, we've got dogs in our classes that can do this, can do the cross paws and then a sleepy head, which looks quite cute. Some dogs can do it from a play bell and then cross their paws. So it can become quite a big trick um, and it can become one they can do from a distance as well but they do need this foundation step. So that's where you want to start. So if you want to teach your dogs to cross paws, this is where you want to start with. Be opposite your dog as much as you can. Obviously I was at an angle so that you could see me, otherwise you're just looking at my back or their side, which neither is helpful. Um, and just start with the hand opposite the paw you want to move is the one you're going to use, okay? To start with, just to get them given paw in a down. Then we're going to use the wrong hand which is gonna come across our body and get the paw. And then as they're getting good at that, we start having our hands slightly more on our own side and slightly more and slightly more. And so then our dogs are reaching across more and more as we go, but do it small. Don't suddenly make it big. Look at where your dog's laying and consider if they've got very small legs, they might need a little bit of a helping hand. It might be one they don't find very comfortable doing. Also, if your dog has got any shoulder issues, elbow issues, you know, just be aware that that might not be very comfortable for them. So if they're really struggling or making that connection, it might actually not be suitable for them. So then we can find something else that they can do instead. All right, um, so give that a go. So I did have a couple of people specifically asking for this. Hello, Laura. Um, sorry, I can't see from back here. Um, so hopefully uh, I'll, I'll try and tag you guys so that you know the video is here. And if anyone wants to give this a go, let me know here getting on. Do you pop something in the comments to let me know, yep, yeah, we're giving it a go, we've tried it, or yep, yeah, we're doing okay, what's the next stage? Um, even better, if you've got a picture or a small clip of your dog, that'd be great to put in the comments so I can see how you're getting along. Um, if you are watching at the minute, or even if you're on the replay, you can comment, you can do a, a like, you can do a thumbs up, um, and that will make sure that you're notified when I do lives in the future. It just helps with the algorithms for Facebook. So um, feel free, and if you are watching now, or if you are watching on the replay, you can pop a question in if you have a question for me as well. Something else has come up, let me have a quick look. Hello, hello mum. <laughs> Literally, hello mum. Um, so give that a go. It's a really fun one to have once they've got it. We can use it for lots of things, like I say. Um, I've got a lovely picture, I'll pop it in the comments later, a lovely picture of um, Piper, who's an old English sheepdog in our classes, who um, she's doing a nice cross pause, and she's actually holding onto a bunch of flowers at the same time. And it's come out as a really nice picture that I did a couple of years ago when we did a canine acting session. So um, yeah, you can do loads with it once they've got it, but take it slow. This will be something you can practice over Christmas, perhaps, 
and then when we've got a few dogs ready and I've seen that the few dogs are getting that first step I'll look at doing a second stage for you so you can move it on a little bit more okay uh, ooh, let's just have a look hi Joe. hi mum <laughs> we're just gonna have a conversation of highs um, okay so that's me for now I don't want to just drag on and on and on and on um, if you saw my live last week I can't remember when it was now, whenever it was, Friday I think, um, and I did some Christmassy uh, tricks, tutorials, um, I did say in that one that I'm going to try and get more lives going at different times of the day, quite a lot of my lives tend to be late at night as that's when I'm sort of winding down from work, um, but before I finish here and head back to the office I thought I'd get a quick live going for this particular trick, so do watch out um, for lives, you can also check your notifications for this page, if you're on your phone, there'll be three dots in the corner when you're on this page. You can click on them and you can change it from um, notifications of most recent or most relevant. You can change it to all notifications and that ensures you're told when there's a live, when there are new posts, etc. So you don't miss out on anything else in the future. Okay, so one last check because I've got to come this way to turn it off anyway. Hello, Susan. Hi Joe from Skylar and Jakey. Hello Skylar and Jakey. Can Skylar and Jakey do a cross pause? If they can't, then have a watch and uh, see how they get on. Let me know how they get on at some point. But um, please do have a go. If your dog can already do it, then show me that. I'd love to see it or pop it in the comments and uh, you'll have a stage two coming sometime after Christmas as well. Okay, so take care everyone. Have a good rest of the afternoon and evening. And uh, if you've got classes with us this week, then we'll see you this week. If not, then take care of yourselves and I'll see you online sometime very soon. Okay, right, Merlin, 